Honoring the lives lost to intimate partner violence, New Yorkers marched through Upper Manhattan and the South Bronx to raise awareness about the devastating effects of domestic violence. The importance of the Brides March against domestic violence is that it creates awareness that this is a problem that still needs to be addressed in our communities. The annual Brides March Against Domestic and Intimate Partner Violence began in 2001 following the death of Gladys Ricard, a woman who was murdered by her former partner on her wedding day. It's important for me because I remember that day vividly como una dominicana as a Dominican woman that could have been my mother, that could have been my aunt, that could have been a sister of mine. This is a tragedy women around the world know all too well, but in New York City this is a fate many black and Latino women face at alarmingly high rates. Those are the stories of so many women, so many women in the city of New York, um, predominantly black and brown women are amongst the high, take up the highest rate of domestic violence cases and homicides that are caused due to intimate partners. Economic independence that they don't have, education many times, and many times the family, the children, I mean, prevent them from leaving the abuse. Assemblywoman Yudelka Tapia stands in solidarity with survivors, saying female representation in elected positions is just one step towards ensuring these women have protective legislation and resources. We have emergency housing for every woman that is that is being abused. I mean, and she decides that she want to get out. We have emergency housing immediately when they are when they come to us. We are creating a community where they can come forward, share their stories, because it's only through those stories that we can truly, truly affect change. And so today is just a symbol of the many spaces that we are creating for our survivors. Reporting for BronxNet, Kibben Aline.